Hello, my lovelies. I don't know why I just want to be British every time I say hello to you. How about I do a southern accent? Welcome to my channel where I'll Dale take you on a journey to capture the vision of my life and hopes to inspire you to do the exact same thing with yours. <laughs> As you can tell by the title of this video, it is going to be about me and a cup of joe. If you want to go with me on a journey to get coffee, I will let my filming skills do the storytelling for you. But stay tuned to the end where I will actually tell you what I discovered on whether or not coffee is good or bad for you. It's up to you to make your own decision. All started last night though when I was really bored watching a movie that I thought I was going to be interested in and realized I didn't want to watch it anymore. I am so bored today because it is snowing outside and I had to cancel everything that I had planned and I had so much planned. You could tell that I uh, really cared about what I looked like today, but I was gonna share with the world what somebody looks like when they're snowed in. That's my question, how snowed in am I? I keep seeing commercials with people with coffee and I really want coffee. I don't have any coffee here. I have hot tea. How much effort would it take for me to go get a coffee? Hmm, I'm gonna go get one. I have to change, look somewhat presentable and get some clothes on to go greet society. I l literally look really rough. My outfit makes absolutely no sense. Let's go scrape off my car now. Here she is in all her glory. Safety first. I keep hearing sirens and I don't know what it's like out there. I feel like literally the world has come to an end with this winter snowstorm the Midwest got. And I'm just like, we're worried about the rest of the world and how many people are gonna be safe. A lot of you are probably thinking, dumb blitch, you should be staying home. You should be being safe. But I've seen cars drive by my window and I'm gonna go right at the road. My coffee shop is two seconds away. And this is like the ending of the storm. We already got a bunch of snow last night. When I saw my car, like three inches of snow on my car, which I know is not a lot for some parts of the world, but I just wish it was safe for Christmas. You can just continue to dream of a white Christmas and never seem to get your way. It never snows on Christmas Eve here. I mean, it does sometimes, but never this epic. Let's go get a coffee. Oh my gosh, they are closed. <laughs> I mean, if you live in a country that doesn't have snow, it can get pretty gnarly out there. It can get pretty gnarly, but we are now going to face society. So when I thought I was gonna be able to get away with just kind of looking like crap through the drive-thru and I only graced that one person with my lovely presence of how amazing I look, I am now going to go in all my flame and glory into Quick Trip, which is a gas station, a gas station, and get myself a coffee there. Come all this way just for one, one cup of coffee, man. Yeah, just the coffee. You know, before I judge this coffee, which I don't usually put Splenda in my coffee or cream, I usually put almond milk and stevia because it's healthier, I think. I mean, what do we know anymore? We're gonna probably find out in five years it's not healthy, but let's try it. It's really full and really hot. It's okay. It's not the best, it's not the worst. So I am going to focus and drive home and let's look into whether or not coffee is good for you. my amazing cinematography over. <laughs> Please use kindness towards my, my videography skills. That was coffee maybe not being good for me, but upon the research I've discovered, it seems that 
everything I found is it's good for you, it's bad for you, you know, with, with balance, within reason, stay inside these guidelines. It's good for the ADHD brain, but it also can dehydrate your brain. So I'm just gonna share with you the pros and cons that I have discovered, and you take it with a grain of salt, but just don't put salt in your coffee, unless it's a salted caramel latte. That's really hard to say, salted caramel latte. The pros and cons are as such. Pro, coffee has a lot of natural minerals, vitamins, and antioxidants within coffee itself. It also helps with Alzheimer's, it helps with dementia, it helps fight fatigue, it helps give you energy, which is good for an ADHD brain. It helps fight asthma attacks and strokes, it gives you energy and helps combat fatigue. It acts as a stimulant for your brain. And now on the flip side of it, overconsumption of coffee can rearrange the natural sleep patterns of your life, which makes me wonder if I should try to cut it out of my life completely. It may increase your chances of having anxiety and it may give you the jitters if you drink too much too soon on an empty stomach especially. It also will cause you to run to the restroom pretty quickly if you don't have control over your bowel movements. You might, might wanna be careful about how much coffee you drink, how fast, how soon, and how close to the proximity of a restroom you are might be something you wanna take into consideration when drinking coffee coffee. This is an obvious one and more of an external factor, but it can cause teeth stainage. I don't feel like I have the yellowest of teeth, I'm going to be honest, but I also ate a lot of lemons as a kid, so I don't have the best of enamels. I definitely try to use teeth whitening, but my teeth have been stained by coffee. It also is high in acid and it can cause heartburn issues. It can aggravate heartburn. Make sure you drink a lot of water if you're drinking a lot of coffee because it can dehydrate your brain, which is something that's not good for your brain. If you have an ADHD brain, you don't have a dehydrated brain. But one thing I was confused about was that if coffee has a lot of antioxidants and minerals and vitamins in it, it also causes a block in absorbing certain minerals and vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin B, as well as calcium, iron, and zinc. So I know that those are really good for your brain. If you watch my vi video on vitamins and minerals that are good for your brain, I know that those are good for your brain. And if it causes you to not be able to absorb it, then you definitely don't wanna be drinking too much coffee, especially if you, if you have ADHD. For me, I know myself well enough to know what I probably should or should not do. So this is just regardless if you have ADHD or not, obviously don't overdo it and it's not that bad if you have a cup of coffee, but to each his own. I'm going to, for myself, limit my coffee intake to one cup of coffee a day. It'll do a lot of things for me. It'll keep me organized and structured on my coffee consumption. I'm not gonna allow myself to have it after noon, and it's also gonna be my natural medication, for lack of a better word. I'm not on medication right now for ADHD. I am on a mission to try to figure out how I can live a life unmedicated with ADHD and if I can learn and figure out how to manage it. I am getting a life coach and I've worked with her and she told me that coffee was good for those with ADHD because she has ADHD herself. I am going to be sharing more about my journey with my life coach in videos to come, so stay tuned. I have so many exciting things coming in 2020 and I'm super excited to share all of that with you, my lovely visionaries. Please, if you like this video, give it one big thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and to click that gray bell to be notified the minute I upload another video every Wednesday on all things ADHD, mental well-being, and personal development. And remember, all of you are in my prayers. Seriously, I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. Bye-bye.